Hi everyone, welcome back to In Your Disney Dreams. I'm Imogen and along with my partner Sarah, we run the In Your Disney Dreams channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in our park bag. So as you know, if you've seen our previous video, if not, welcome, please do subscribe to follow along with our Disney trip that we are going on in August. But today I'm going to be showing you what is in our park bag. Now I will admit there's quite a lot of stuff. It's been six years since I last went to Florida, so we've watched a lot of similar videos to this to give us some ideas of what we need to take. So there's a lot to begin with and we're going to adapt it depending on what we feel like we need, what we use and depending on the type of day that we're having. So you'll see there's a couple of different bag options. So the biggest bag that we are taking and the one that we're planning to use on the first few days certainly is this big Mickey Mouse lounge fly bag this is rather large you probably don't need a bag this large if it's just two of you like it is for me and sarah so bit of context it's just the two of us going um to florida together we haven't got any other family going with us um so this is probably more than big enough for the both of us um obviously if you had children going with you you might need a different size of bag again we're going to take this for the first couple of days and see how we get on um, and we might downsize from this bag but if we need to take a few extra bits then that's easy and that's also going to be one of our hand luggage as well um, and a bonus of a bag like that is it's so big you can fit anything you purchase in it throughout the park so you haven't got to carry that as well the other bags that we're taking we've got this bag which is just a kind of light pinky purple crossbody bag from Amazon. This has got loads of pockets, which I thought was great to help us keep organized. I've also got lots of little pouches, so I'll use those too, but I thought this would be ideal if we're not taking the backpack because it fits almost as much as we could get in the backpack um, because of all the pockets. So we'll probably switch to using this, but when I put everything in it, it was very bulky, very full and quite heavy for a cross body bag so I think we'd have to quite significantly reduce what we were going to take to use this one but we have got this as an option. I will try my best to link anything that we've bought off of Amazon um, down below if I can so that you can find it. We're also going to be taking the two Uniqlo cross body bags that we have. You'll have seen everyone's got these everywhere at the moment um, but these are probably more depending on the outfit that we're wearing, if one of those goes better with it, or if we're going out in the evening and we want to take fewer things with us, that's why we're taking those and they're super lightweight and fold really small into the suitcase. In terms of other things that aren't going to go in the bag, we've got our water bottle in a water bottle holder. Again, this is just from Amazon. This is the Brita filter water bottles. So the water in Florida can taste a bit funny sometimes, as it can anywhere when you go abroad. So to try and avoid that, we've got one of these filter bottles, but we are also gonna buy um, one of the little squash kind of squeezy bottles um, just to add to our water as well. Other things that we've got that aren't going in the bag, an ear holder. So I've made this and it's basically just a popper. You slip a pair of ears on. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can find one. Right, here we go. I've got a pair of ears now. So what you do is you unpop it loop your ears on do the popper at the top back up and then they are attached to this and you just clip that onto your bag so say i had this bag i might clip it on just like that so it was securely on my bag for when we went on a ride or i could just put my ears in the bag if we were using the larger mickey mouse bag another item that won't be going in the bag but we are taking to the parks with us are of course magic bands. This is my magic band from six years ago, so I don't think it still works. We're taking it with us just in case it does, but if not, we will just buy some new magic bands while we're there. Um, not overly bothered about getting magic band pluses. We're gonna try and just get the magic band two if we can, but they are quite hard to find now that they're kind of switching over to just selling the magic band pluses. Then in terms of other things that we are taking, in the bag to the parks we have got some ponchos one for each of us 
these are just disposable ponchos it does rain a lot in florida particularly in august which is kind of tropical hurricane season so we are going to be taking these every single day they fold nice and small and even though they're disposable we will probably use them more than once they will never fold up quite this small again but um they can definitely get more than one usage out of them we bought a pack of five of these i definitely prefer using a poncho to an umbrella or something so that's why we've got these but you'll notice in a moment we've also got an umbrella um, in case we prefer that and you can get reusable ponchos in the parks but they are a bit bulkier and heavier which is why we've opted for these ones instead one of the most important things in the heat in florida is of course sun cream we have got a roll-on sun cream this one was smaller than the bigger bottles of sun cream we've got and we can just refill this as well when it gets empty and keep using it but it's quick and easy to apply versus trying to spray it on your arm then we have got reusable cutlery um i personally am not a fan of wooden cutlery in the slightest i think it's horrific to eat off of and it gives me the ick so for quick services and snacks and things we've got these they're better for the environment um, than plastic ones and they kind of break apart so this is the half of the fork and then you just slot it into the handle so you can get these anywhere mine's from miniso but um you can find them pretty much anywhere along the same kind of theme as that we have got two reusable straws these ones are really good they come in their own little um tin and they're silicone straws so they just fold up and pop out um these are particularly good again paper straws are not always the most reliable uh they go a bit mushy and they are also not great sort of for accessibility and sensory issues either so sarah if you don't know has autism so she much prefers straws like this so she can chew on them if you've got kids these are great the ones that we like are from the brand go silly so silly like um silicon and they make kids ones as well in lots of different colors so we'd really recommend these ones um you can just wash them out when you're done and put them back in the tub i've got a little um brush to clean them as well so you can get really inside them which we will take with us so we've got two of those another thing we are taking with us that you cannot get on walt disney property is chewing gum so if you want um to have chewing gum you will need to bring it with you or buy it when you're off site and then take it with you and um, because you cannot get it on properties we have also got a very important portable charger we have more than one of these so we'll probably only take one a day because they're quite heavy but um this will charge numerous things from phones to cameras to fans you name it it all needs charging nowadays so we've got these and a few cables as well this one's the belkin one they tend to be quite good um but there are a couple of different brands i think there's one called anchor um as well that i've had in the past so we've got one of those same kind of theme as that uh first little zip pouch i actually made this one this has got one of the pool and friends on it this has got all of our tech bits in them so to save having little bits flying all over the bag we've got it all together we've got two phone cables so sarah and i have got different phones so we've got an apple one and a USB C for my phone then we've got the charger for the camera you are currently a digi pocket 2 so i obviously can't show but i might put a picture here on the screen so you can see what you look like um it's a very small portable camera ideal for kind of vlogging it has great tracking motion which i've made the mistake of trying to put that on for sit down filming and you just end up bobbing around so um we're still learning how to use this camera but thus far really enjoying it and i can see it being really useful when we're in florida this has also got in it a tripod this is actually a similar size to the camera so it's no taller than that um this is useful just to hold it the camera itself is quite easy to hold on its own but this just gives an extra bit of support for it and if you want to stand it up anywhere you just flip it out and stand it up it'd be good if we're filming whilst we're eating or something like that um and then it's got other little adapter bits that go on the camera then of course some of the most important bits that you will need to take with you is a wallet 
this is just the travel one so it hasn't got cards and things in it yet um but we won't need to take much with us um, we're mostly going to use our magic bands because we can link our cards to them or you can use your phone nowadays as well but this will have our Monzo card in it which is the card we're going to be primarily using because there are no overseas transaction fees and you don't have to let them know so that's a card that works really well other ones I've heard people using Chase, Revolt um, so there's lots of ones out there but we will also take our normal debit cards as a backup as well and our UK driving license which you can't use out there as proof of ID or anything like that but we'd rather have them on us and we are hiring a car for one day so we will need it on us then as well this one's also got a zippy pocket we are going to take a few dollars with us just for things like giving mouse keeping a tip when they've cleaned the room for tipping in restaurants and things as well if we feel like using cash so not much cash but just a little bit on the same lines we're going to be taking our passports with us these are the only thing you can use to prove your identity so both Sarah and I are 21 so we're old enough to drink in the US but we will need this in order to be able to get a drink and I think we feel a bit safer by having them with us so we're going to take our passports into the park also going to take phones i think it's really hard to do disney without your phone now so of course we will both need our phones and sarah's also got a really cool case on her phone that kind of turns it into a lanyard so if you're wanting to take pictures around the parks that's really useful you're not trying to get it in and out of a bag all the time so like i said earlier we're taking ponchos but we're also going to take an umbrella this may or may not be something we take every day we'll see whether we prefer this to the ponchos but this one is also a uv umbrella so one other way we're going to try and beat the florida heat is to use the uv umbrella this one is also from miniso and it has this cool kind of rainbow gingham pattern on it similarly again trying to beat the heat we have got a fan this is just a usb chargeable fan and it folds up to this kind of size but you can also hold the fold the handle down like that so you can hold it to cool you down it has six different power settings and then it also shows on this screen at the top how much battery it has left um, which is really useful there's a couple of different types um, again we bought this on Amazon I think this one has somewhere between three and six or three and eight hours charge that it holds you can get ones that last a bit longer than that this is the easy act brand which is highly recommended from victoria from disney in detail she's always in disney always uses these fans so from what we've seen so far in this hot uk weather we've been having these are very helpful and very effective and this one also has a lanyard as well so you can just put it around your neck if you're standing in a queue and fan yourself down to keep cool and i think the final sort of cooling item is a cooling towel so these are really cool these ones again from amazon they have a hook to clip them onto your bag or you can put them in your bag and then the pouch is really handy for when they're wet you can store them in there so you haven't got something wet sitting in your bag and then they're just these towels that you get wet they're kind of somewhere between like a sports top and a microfiber top I would say you get them wet wring it out and then put it around your neck and they stay really nice and cold and then like I say once you're done with it you can just put it in the bag and then you haven't got to worry about carrying a wet towel around with you. we're also going to take sunglasses with us um these probably aren't going to go in the bag unless we're on a ride um because we'll be wearing them and they'll probably stay on our heads most of the time but they are of course a must and a case just to keep them protected when they are in the bag and this is a bit of a weird one and um, might need some explanation but we are going to be taking some ziploc bags these are just the ikea ones and we've got them in several different sizes these are handy for if you're going on water rides and you need to put your phone and your electronics or your passport in them to keep them safe but we're also bringing them because we're planning to have a lot of different snacks but if we're trying lots of different things we might not be able to finish them all so if we've got like half a cookie left that can just go in a bag and we can take it back to the hotel an absolute must going anywhere to be honest is a hand gel we're also taking a little foldable hairbrush and mirror with us then on to things that are a bit more disney 
So this is another little pouch and in here we have got our pin trading lanyards. Now I have never done pin trading before but um, you can only trade the official Disney Parks pins um, which you can buy on Shop Disney UK or you can do what we did and we bought, well, Sarah bought for my birthday a big job lot of kind of pin trading pins that are from blind bags and pin trader sets in the past off of eBay and you can get those. There was probably, oh, I'd say at least like 70 pins or something in there. Um, and they're about sort of, I think between about 35 and 50 pounds. So that's not bad at all if that's something you want to do. Um, and they were all official pins as well. Then we are also going to take with us an autograph book. You can buy these in the parks or in the character warehouse at the outlets, or you can just take anything with you. I've seen people get shoes signed or photo frames signed, so whatever you fancy. This is just a little Donald Duck notebook that we had already. Again, this is from Miniso, and it's got quite cute pages on the inside as well because it's got Donald Duck in the corner. So we will also take a pen, maybe a Sharpie I think people use because they're nice and thick for the characters to hold, um, but just to get some signatures in that. Um, if you've seen our plans video, then you'll know that we're doing a lot of character breakfasts, so we'll be meeting loads of characters and hopefully we can get some autographs from them. These two are particularly relevant for Sarah. So like I said, Sarah has autism. So one of the things she finds really helps her with that are her loop earplugs. Now these are very highly recommended um, by a lot of different people and they've got lots of different types of earplugs as well, but they're just very subtle. They've got lots of different um, styles and colors. They just help to block a little bit of the noise out, but you also, are still able to have conversations and hear what's going on around you so it just sort of dulls the noise a little bit and like I say there's different ones with different levels of noise blocking they come in a little case you can hook it onto a lanyard if you want to um, but they're just really nice to have um, and like I say they're quite sophisticated as well and Sarah's even made some little earrings that she can hook them onto so she doesn't have to keep taking them in and out of here they can just be sitting in her ears and she can put them in when she needs to. Similarly, she's got a fidget toy, so there's various different ones that she likes, um, but this is just kind of like a stretchy noodle um, type one, so we'll have one of those as well in the bag. And then the last thing is our kind of, I suppose that like makeup bag, toiletries kit, that's got things in it. So I've got an SPF lip balm, always needed for the sun. I've got my inhaler. If you do need to take any medications with you, then make sure you do. Um, there are first aid sites on in all of the Disney parks and Universal as well, but they're not gonna have specific medications that you need. So make sure you take them with you. We've got a little perfume atomizer um, just to freshen up throughout the day. Some plasters, including some Compede blister plasters because you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. We've just got some painkillers as well, so paracetamol, ibuprofen, um, we also take motion sickness tablets and antihistamines in case there's like pollen and hay fever as well, um, and I'm quite prone to getting indigestion, so taking sort of Rennie tablets and things like that that are going to help with that is useful too. I've got hand cream in here, I get quite dry hands so that's really useful. Um, some just some hand wipes as well. Tissues are a must. Final couple of things. I've of course got some pads. Always need to have these, and a hair bubble as well. That is everything. That was a whistle stop tour of everything going in the park bag. Like I say, not all of it is going to come with us every day necessarily. It depends what we're doing. Um, I mean, there's some very Disney specific things in there. They're not gonna to come to Universal with us, like the pins and the autograph book, for example. Um, but yeah, we'll just see what we need when we're there and adjust to how we're feeling um, as well. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and you found it useful in some way. It might help you if you're planning for a trip of your own soon. We have got lots more content coming up soon. So we're going to be vlogging our trip. So please do subscribe hit the notification bell and follow along for that. 
You can also follow us on our Instagram, which is just in your Disney dreams, just like it is here. Please do subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave us a comment as well to let us know if you've got a trip coming up. Uh, have I missed anything that we should be definitely taking with us? Let us know in the comments. But for now, we will see you real soon.